Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Shout right, big as up. You know what the f is going on. You know what? Shout right, big as up. What you want, gang? Okay? <laughs> I'm cooling. <laughs> Come on, step us. We booling. No, let me stop playing, man. You know what? 051 kiddo. Happy birthday, my brother. Yeah, good looking, brother. For sure that. You know that. Uh, welcome back to DJ UTV. You know that. Definitely a blessing to have you. Uh, as always, let the folks know who you got on the couch with you. I got King Wu, Meliway, Azadi Wap, Meliway. You know that. You know what the f is going on. Just say getting that Meliway. Come on. Yeah, Ain't no other way. You know that. Why you mean? <laughs> this is not no movie when we in them trends. <laughs> oh, bro. So, so if I'm not mistaken, brother, this your first birthday like out within the past 10, 11 years? Yeah. When the last time you celebrated a birthday outside? 2012, wow. November 8th. November 8th, 2012. It's November 8th, 2023. And this your first time spending that time. First birthday out. Wow. Out here. How you feel? Man, this shit feel amazing. This shit feel good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you do today? I did all type of shit. I was in traffic. No, I'm straight though. Yeah. <laughs> So, 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 so did you make a birthday wish, my brother? Yeah, yeah, I made a birthday wish. Yeah. I was great. Four of them hit me. Got to it. Woke up. Brought my birthday in with the members. End of my birthday with the members. Can't get no better than that. For sure that. First birthday out. For sure that. Well, the fact that this is your first birthday out and you decided to also spend it right here at DJ UTV, I no. definitely want to let you know I appreciate that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? With my boy. For sure that. Uh, but let's just catch up, brother. Um, I feel like, man, as since our last interview, you'd have been all around the world around that. We know. You know what I'm saying? I'd have seen you on every which platform. Um, tell us what, 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 what that's been like for you. No, nah, different experiences. It's just a different experience. Getting on different platforms, seeing what type of questions that they ask. It's cool. But that's the one right here. All right. DJU. <laughs> that's the trends like right here. Yeah. Oh, bro. I like this right here. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Um, and, 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 and going back to our last interview, you know, we talked about a lot of things, you know, uh, the 10 years you did, uh, being cellmates with King Von, you know what I'm saying? Um, your memories with Melly, you know, we talked about a lot of things. So, you know, we just want to catch up on what's been going on recently. Um, you're an artist, you feel me? You like to rap. The fans love your music and they love the fact that you don't even rhyme in none of your raps. You know that. But you do rhyme for real, it just be like five, six bars later. <laughs> so you got, a, you got a crazy cadence, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, but tell us, tell us about your, uh, your, your, your rap career so far. I'm just being me, I'm just being myself. I ain't trying to be like nobody else. I'm not trying to sound like every other rapper. That shit not gonna get me nowhere. I made it this far. I'm doing all this shit by myself. I'm doing all this shit on my own. A lot of niggas been rapping three, four years, not even doing what the fuck I'm doing. Not even seeing what the fuck I'm seeing. You get what I'm saying? So. And I just dropped my again at Melly. Know that. Tape. Oh, bro. I can't forget about that. You, the tape already out? Yeah, it's out. Go get that. On all platforms? On all platforms. Getting that Melly. 051 Kiddo. Word. You know that. What's the name of it? Getting that Melly. That's oh, the name of it? Most definitely. Getting that Melly. Yeah. NAT. <laughs> it's my NAT. You know that. <laughs> yeah, but you know I know that. Yeah, you know. I'm boom. One of my favorite songs about you, brother, is uh, Don't Play With Us. You know. Uh, Looking at it right now with 520,000 views. That would have been at a meal right now. Half a meal right now. No, that would have been at a meal right now. What happened? They took his shit. They took his Instagram for two months. Who? YouTube. Oh, yeah. I'm tripping. The, yeah, the YouTube shit on fair. What? Yeah. That shit would have been at a meal right now. Yeah. But it definitely uh, caught a buzz, right? Can you tell us the concept behind the song, how you came up with it? The concept? How I came up with it? 
She, I just got in the studio. I'm like, F it. Roll some little shit down. I don't get no fuck if it rhyme or then rhyme. I went crazy. <laughs> That's all that matter. Oh, bro. <laughs> and that motherfucker did 100K in one day. Not two days, not three days, not four. I dropped no interview. That motherfucker did 100K in one day. Not two days, not three days, not four. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything I drop, that motherfucker doing numbers. I don't get no fuck if it take a week. I don't get no fuck if it take two weeks. I don't get no fuck if it take three weeks. That motherfucker doing over 100K. My shit doing numbers. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Now I wanna um, just revert back to your birthday real quick, cause it is your birthday, you know. And um, you know, you know, men don't really take their birthday as serious like women do. You know, women make it a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a bitch birthday <laughs> all month. You know what I'm saying? You knew it. <laughs> but what I wanna get at it, brothers, I I just kinda want you to open up with us, talk to us tonight, um, you know, about the 10 different birthdays you done had while you was locked up. Can you tell us which one was the best or which one was the worst? Which one is the most memorable for you when you think back on all the years I was locked up on my birthday? No, nah, it wasn't no best, it wasn't no worst, best memory, none of that shit. It was basically the same shit because I was going through shit when I was locked up. Being a sick, getting out of sick, going back to sick, shit. A lot of times, I was in said for my birthday. Shit, before I came home, I was in said for my birthday. Shit, he sent some money to somebody. Who sent some money to somebody else for, for all to eat? I had to call, bro, let bro know. I can have money on my books, but you can't shop, though. You feel me? So, that's on the other side. I was in Menard. So, that's on the other side. I got to send money to them so they can go to the store for me so I can have food and shit. You get what I'm saying? So, that, that was a way for me to eat. But at the end of the day, that shit, hell no. Nah. You in jail, you spending your birthday in jail. Every year that came around, you in jail, spending your birthday. That shit dry as hell. You in the cell. Oh, bro. Are you eating the same food? Right. You eating the same food every day. It ain't no different. They giving you the same meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Commissary every week, same shit. In a joint every two weeks, same shit. No difference. Out here, it's just different out here. Cause you could do what you want. You could do what you want. You see different shit every day. Oh, bro. In jail, same shit. Yeah. It's like, it feel like you did, gang. Yeah. Hey, so. You know you got on the couch, right? Huh? You know you got on the couch, right? This yeah. This is Y-Day, man. Ain't no birthday. That's for females. This is Y-Day, man. Happy Y-Day. Y -day. It's your first Y-Day. Okay. Day, happy y Once again, happy Y-Day. You know that. Y-Day, man. Big Y. Y and yeah. men. You know that. Oh, bro. Show that. Now, um, you know, th there was some comments that was made about yourself, um, you know, earlier in the year when you first got out. Um, some guys felt like 051 Kiddo wouldn't make it past the summertime in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And I know we did our interview early in the summer, and I purposely made sure the next time I interview Kiddo, Lord willing, would be after the summertime. You know that. Now we in November. 051 kiddo still here. What so 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 what do we think of those type of comments that were made early in the year? 051 kiddo ain't gonna make it past the summer. Whoever said it, tell them eat a dick. Straight up. Don't matter. Tell them get off my dick. I'm out here. I'm really in them trenches. So that. Besides that, I got a lot of individuals that's around me that really, really love me, gang. I don't listen to nobody outside of my white members. I won't never get advice like outside of what I got going on. You get what I'm saying? Especially if I'm in Chicago. Why would I listen to the next nigga telling me, yeah, this is what you should do? Or do it that way or do it this way. Hell no. Nah. That ain't gonna give me no well. I'm listening to my members. I'm listening to my white members because they know what they know. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All type of shit be going on in Chicago. All type of fluky shit at that. We don't got that shit going on where we at. That backdoor shit, that snake shit, 
We a family gang. We don't got none of that fluky shit going on. Now y'all all with that snake shit, right? What's that? Some of y'all. What's that? Well, yeah, that's what I'm I want to know. I'm from the grade. I was just gonna ask the same What's thing. What's that, gang? Yeah, what do you really saying? Some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Nah. 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 We ain't with that shit. Okay. Hey, I'm Biddy. <laughs> okay, so uh, the elephant in the room. Now I say the elephant in the room, so when y'all watching this, y'all know how I'm coming. Y'all know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck going on? Um, you know, that was a diss track that was just made. Uh, it's by Tay Savage. Um, it's a uh, record with Tay Savage featuring a guy named Hard Body Somebody um, called Goofy. He said, they ain't gonna say, I ain't going to say your name. We just going to call him Goofy. So no one's name was ever mentioned, but those that listen to this song and those that's really tapped into what's going on, they felt like this was a diss track, you know, towards 051 Kiddo <clears throat> by Tay Savage. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've interviewed both you and Tay Savage. Um, I asked you about Tay Savage the first time. And um, my point, I mean, what I really be getting at, me personally, like, bro, is y'all really beefing? Because how the f y'all really beefing if y'all was both locked up for 10 years? What's what? really going on? So can you tell us what's really going on with, with, with 051 Kiddo and Tay Savage? Because I f with Tay Savage, so I ain't trying to make this messy. I'm just trying to get an understanding of what's going on. Well, don't talk to me about that dark ass bitch. What the f you talking about, man? Oh, for the grave, man. At all. We are not a tour, though. I'm for the grave, man. I'm for them. Who is they? I'm both. I don't get into it with bitches, man. I'm fast, man. Y'all niggas crazy. Man. Dykes at that. On game. <laughs> Hard body, eh? big muscle, on fast man. Shot right, big as arm. Pick your homie up. Your homie up. <laughs> know that. You talking about nigga? Uh, you know, for a while I thought that we was we was pushing peace. You know, we had Tay Savage and Fybj Main. You know, um, and we was leading the movement. You know, uh, and you got you got peace on your forehead right now. So I know we push a piece, right, kiddo? I told you to get like the old piece, a bit like, but you know. I see peace on the on the, on the forehead of yeah, your uh, your right. cap. <laughs> so, so we push a piece tonight, right? Nah, we ain't pushing no piece tonight. Huh? Nah, that ain't happening. Think about it. <laughs> Be realistic with yourself, my guy. <laughs> ain't gonna lie, that shit, big whoop. Um, bro, y'all niggas crazy, man. You know what the um, f going on? Yeah, we we. we what you we, want us to grab them whoops? The whoops definitely right there. Man, grab them whoops, gang. Sitting right next to R. Kelly. Grab the whoops. Grab the whoops, gang. Grab the whoops. That yeah. shit do hit yeah. different yeah. though, though. Grab the whoops. Grab the whoops, gang. Let's put the whoops in front. Of Big whoops. Nah, you can't forget about dude though. No, no, no. Eat him over there. You know, Kels definitely gonna stay. Kels be doing too much. Like, he has a party, <laughs> but we need. You gotta understand. Yeah, he, be doing hey, too he, he be doing too much. He, he, he do that all okay, game, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, kid, who right. funny is he, okay? Right, right. Folks get to doing. <laughs> he get to doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Hey, funny is he? He say he, <laughs> he just can't let him drink too much. Yeah, keep his ass over there. Well, we definitely got the whoops. What you think about the whoops, though? You know, Man, big whoop. I, I saw you make a make a post on your story saying that. You know, niggas is pushing peace and, and basically whooping for views. You know, they ain't, you know, they ain't really, you know what I'm saying, with it. Is that what you were saying or, or, or what? They're not really doing it or what was, you know? Nah, you know what the f going on. j -Man, he he pushing peace. Yeah. He doing his thing. Think about it. Think you know, about a lot it. Of you know, a lot of people felt some type of way when he when he went to King Von Mural and put the whoops. You know what I'm saying? He pushing peas though. Okay. He pushing peas. You can't blame him that's pushing peas. Come on, man. This is J Man, man. Really though. 
I mean, you know, Jay Man, Jay Man, you know, Jay Man, you know, well, he pushed that shit. No, you know? he pushing. Jay Man made a lot of diss tracks. You know what I'm saying? That's understandable. He said he changed his life though. Okay, folks was baptized. Okay. No, he said he like who hit different when Jay Man got baptized. He said he changed his life. He said he ain't with none of that goofy ass shit. He folks doing him. He, got, he said he got saved. Man, he whooping, gang. <laughs> what he doing? He whooping <laughs> on for the grade. Nah, you can't blame that man for nothing that he doing. If that man want to do that shit, let him do it. You hear me? That's why they did all that. They know he ain't no no. That's lame. Y'all push the peace, push peace. That's what I'm saying. But then you get mad. Cause he, what was the disrespect there? He ain't disrespect that man. He ain't went on that bitch saying, F one. Or I'm pissing on this. Or I'm doing this. There was a message behind the message. Most definitely. Basically saying, this is what I'm on. I'm really pushing peace. I'm from this side. Y'all from this side. I'm going to show y'all we can come together. But a lot of motherfuckers not with that shit. You know why a lot of motherfuckers not with that shit? Because real blood got shit. Ain't nobody with that goofy ass shit, bro. Think about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, man, I just said clickbait. Yeah, yeah, clickbait. It's a lot of money getting made when it comes to YouTube. And them people came and pulled the cereal out and stumped on the cereal for what? Like, if y'all claim to push peace, and y'all, what was, like, what was that for you? You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. They make frivolous movements, man. Purposeless movements. And that shit don't be about nothing. Oh, funny. Y'all, and then y'all want to get on him. He knowing he ain't on none of that. You feel me? People like to pray on the week, man. That's goofy. Y'all that hard. hard goofy, man. I'm still some wolves up here. I wish they would touch my. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wolves. Oh, she wanna fuck with the wolves. No. That was my song. I ain't never. It's about me. Oh, for now. Then yeah. one thing with show, two things with certain, the ops gonna expose they sell. Every time. Every time. Every time. You just sit back and laugh at these goofy ass niggas. They expose they sell. Two internet. And they all gonna die. You know why? Because they gonna kill they self. <laughs> oh, for now. They gonna kill they self, gang. Now you know when you when you when you first came home, you came out with, with a lot of distant energy. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, you know, we talked about the viral video you had, you know, with all the chains on and the, you know, the distant um, you know, video. Um so now, you know, now that you been here, how long you been here? Six months now? You've been out for six months? I don't know. About seven? Yeah, seven months. So what are your thoughts on like making diss tracks? You know, do you feel like that's like that's like the way to go, or do you feel like that's something you you know probably fall back on or what? Man, I drop my tape. I'm not dissing nobody no more. Okay. Is that what? What made you make that decision? At the end of the day, I'm like, all right, you been rapping. You been dissing, but you don't even got a diss though. They f with you. Really though. You don't got a diss. They gonna listen to your music regardless. If you dissing or if you not dissing. But motherfuckers gonna listen to your music more if you not dissing though. Well, Most definitely. Cause a lot of motherfuckers don't be wanna listen to this song. They be like, man, no, nah, he dissing for. They party. F with a motherfucker through a mutual friend. They probably fuck with your music, but they be like, no, nah, bro, he dissing one that I fuck with. You get what I'm saying? So if I make songs not dissing, we're gonna listen to you even more. More and more and more. Besides the diss songs. But motherfuckers fuck with my diss songs too, though. I go crazy. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you this, right? So aside from the music and the diss songs, right? Aside from the gang and you know, loyalty to the bros, 051, right? Um, there's different aspects to a man's life, you know what I'm saying? And um, in the words of the great Ja Rule, um, every thug needs a lady, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever heard that? Um, he also said every thug needs a down ass bitch. Well, that one. You know what I'm saying? Every thug needs a lady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> What's wrong with that though, man? He funny as hell. <laughs> Oh, bro. That low key was his shit, though. Low yeah. key. Hey. Jam into that shit. He definitely was like overplaying that. You know that. Bro. First thing in the morning. That, so. With that meal right there. Yo. Oh, that, oh, you brought that from the crib from back in the day, huh? Okay, <laughs> Hey, so, you know, yeah, and, 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 and you know, like I said, your favorite track of mine, Don't Play With Us, you know, you, you put your lady on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? In the midst of what you was talking your shit, you made sure in those bars, you gave a shout out to your lady. You feel me? So talk to us, brother, as a young man, you know what I'm saying? Um, as a rap artist, you know, what, what, made, what, what makes the woman important with what the man got going on? All right. If you fuck with a motherfucker, and like they there for you, like, you could be at your lowest. You don't got shit. And this woman, like, man, I love you. I fuck with you. This is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm with you. Do whatever. Thick and thin. But besides words, they showing you. you Gotta think about it. Like, I should speak louder than words. You get what I'm saying? A lot of females, it's a lot of loyal females out here that fuck with niggas that don't got shit, that don't got nothing at all, and do everything for that nigga. But soon that nigga got one time to get some real money. Oh, bro, he gonna switch on him. Nah, why? Why switch on the game? You supposed to remain the same, bro. Do it all. You don't pose a switch on them. Because you feel like, man, I'm, I'm becoming this type of person. Or I can get this bitch now, or I can get that bitch now. Some niggas do that. A lot of niggas do that. I'm not that type of nigga, though. Bro, now I'm gonna tell you. Oh, bro, my loyalty, that. Like, that's what I stand for. This is what it is, this is what it ain't. You get what I'm saying? I'm not finna be this way one day, then the next day. I'm doing some whole nother fluky off the wall shit. This is what it is with me. Even if we not seeing eye to eye, I'm gonna still remain loyalty to you. I'm gonna still fuck with you. I'm gonna still do for you. I'm gonna still break your neck for, for you. Because you would do it, you would do the same shit for me. D and look, man, females go way harder than niggas, bro. The guys even know that. We be at the spot talking about the same shit, like how females be going crazy. These females go crazy over a nigga. Be going crazy, crazy. I do everything for a nigga. The only problem with a nigga, soon they get up though, they want to shit on them up or make a motherfucker look stupid. Like I said, some niggas, they just expose they self. They say they real. They be like, yeah, I'm real. I'm doing this. I'm standing on bidding. How the fuck you real? How you fuck standing on bidding? But soon you get to some point in life, you switch. That ain't real. That ain't real at all. That ain't real. You supposed to remain the same on every aspect. Never fold, never switch. If you switch, folks was just saying, what was just saying, nigga, if you switch, then you would tell something. It don't matter. Who, it, don't, it don't matter who you, who you switch on. It don't matter if you switch on one of your homies. It don't matter if you switch on one of your hoes. It don't matter if you switch on your mama. Yo, daddy, you a tail or something. And it's all about your name, too. Your name is everything, gang. Your name is a brand. Um, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's why I be like, it's a difference. It's a big difference from the internet and these streets. Okay. You say it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Okay. A hundred percent big difference. No I comparison. Like, I feel like the way niggas move nowadays is damn near thin line between the internet and the streets. But, but the tenants? Most definitely. Who really not in this shit. But I'm saying, if a nigga dissing you online, can't that lead into some stuff in the streets? Not it. Oh, bro. Not necessarily. Not it. Not necessarily. Because you would be like, man, I don't want to Not no if factor. But I'm responding to a nobody, though. Um, bro. Word. 
if you're a nobody. You gonna always be a nobody. You ain't gonna get nowhere for real, for real. It's just like, as far as niggas it's trying to diss us, you not gonna get nowhere. Man, the whole fucking world that why. You think you just the only motherfucker saying that why? You ain't gonna get nowhere dissing us, gang. You ain't gonna get nowhere. Your motherfucking career not gonna go nowhere. You hear me? Get on fucking radar. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> on bro. Wrong shit to do. The wrong shit to do. Period. So. Motherfuckers just gotta know how to be they self, bro. That's all I say. As far as life, period, bro. Just be yourself, bro. You gonna be everywhere you wanna be. It works better that way. Man, you do listen, huh? Yeah, I yeah, that. I listen. He just I crazy. Him, I yeah. told him that. Yeah, I'm from the grade. He's from the grade. Now, bro, be telling me like, bro, you know what? You know the shit that you doing right now, bro. He be telling me that shit, bro. A lot of niggas don't be doing that shit, bro. I've been out here, nigga. You, he be telling me, nigga, I, nigga, you was locked up, nigga. I've been out here, nigga. Bro was saying the same shit. Nigga, I've been out here, nigga. I've been going through real shit out here, nigga. Ain't no nigga doing what you doing right now, nigga. You better appreciate that shit, nigga. You better thank yourself. You better pat yourself on the back. No, bro. They, 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 for sure that. For sure that. Yeah, we, now, look. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm not really too hip to Lil Mark, right? And the only time I've heard his name has been through, like, diss songs. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not going to repeat the lines. Know, no. You feel it, right? Um, but like, can can you can you tell us about? Can you tell me about Lil Mark on some shit like you know what I'm saying? Like, what what made look? Why why they be toning? Why they be toning him like that? Nah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you because I'm. A, I think I could probably explain. It yeah, that's like, that's, a, that's a real family. He just, yeah, that's really my family. He that. There's a reason why you gonna diss somebody. You feel me? Like, well, that's way prior to the internet being glow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Chicago being on the level. He was him for real, for real. Like. With us, without us, like he gonna do what that he part. do. You get what I'm saying? Like he was high here and then less. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go for people that don't let you know. You feel me? But he gonna be him. Like he gonna be him. You feel me? To they the that. Like you feel me? Like you couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't. Uh, I can't stop and shine. You couldn't. You couldn't see him and not keep the same energy that you portrayed to somebody else. You feel me? Because he gonna keep his same energy. You feel me? Oh, man. Gonna be yourself, bro. That's right. all that was. So you gonna diss somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? Really, it's like, hooray! You feel me? Problem child. Hey, oh, bro. Bro. hey, really? Everybody know if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? For so. sure. Kid over now, man. A little more in the sense that they both just they self. Yeah, and they just. Crazy, it's crazy. Like, but you ain't gotta fall for that. You know what I'm saying? Cause they got their own individual story. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't gonna never. You ain't gonna never. You say Kiddo remind you of Lil Mark? Yeah, yeah. One thing you ain't gonna question about Lil Mark or Kiddo is like they with you. You feel me? Even if they ain't listening, even if they ain't like you don't gotta worry about betrayal. Yeah, like doing them what they stand for. They stand on their principle and morals. You know what I'm saying? They see it. Anything you see from them, that's what that's what it is. What it, is. it ain't like it ain't like most of these people out here. I'm gonna get yeah, most people out here be they be too cap, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't relate to a lot of these people, man. But doing them going and I think that's why the fans know. I think they know like you you really you. You feel me? No, like, they know. You don't be No, they know. No, you, they don't know. Be, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just being myself. Yeah. The fans definitely know when somebody but, being authentic. He learned to listen. Well, Lil Mark didn't learn to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It cost him, but you know, love mm. his name gonna forever live on. He was him. And you ain't gonna never take nothing from him. You're gonna always respect him. Or you gonna be a, you gonna be just a cap ass, bitch ass nigga, you feel me? Oh, I'm gonna give niggas that respect, you feel me? I don't give a fuck if we not together. I, you know what I'm saying? If you know him, you're gonna be like, you know, okay. and that's what kiddo gonna give y'all. You feel at the same time, like you don't, you can't be like, man, all that shit be on the internet for the clickbait. Like, come on, man, y'all do that to to get interviewers. Oh, so he said you, right. man, go, man. You know for real, for real. Man. Well, double. Because at the end of the day, if y'all pay attention to niggas' words, like if you felt like this, why you ain't smash them out? Why you ain't do that? Well, why, why you was able to just 
coexist with a motherfucker, you feel me? So it's just about paying attention to deeper than motherfuckers, man. No bullshit. But Lil Mark, he was the truth. Yeah. For sure. He had a, it was unfortunate, but that's gonna happen when you don't listen though. And that's for the youth too though. Like when you don't listen, bro, like think somebody trying to control you or be your father. People telling you for your health and your benefit. They want to see you be great. You can't feel like somebody trying to control you, you feel me? No definitely. Your father, your mother, your granny, your grandfather. And being rebellious. Most definitely. She don't get though. far. You're not gonna get far. Only two cool places. Fact. Dead or in jail. Cool fact. Bro was just telling me. The mindset you got, bro. Bro, you doing a lot of great shit. But when you be distracted, when it's be like come to certain situations. Like, it's only two places you're going to go, bro. You either going to die or go to jail. And I ain't just saying that, saying like, oh, yeah, you going to die or you going to go to jail. But, bro, them like, basically speaking facts, like, bro, this two things that's going to happen, bro. You could be on the right path, but then you want to drift off and do other shit. Like, no, nah, that's one thing. That's one thing I respect and love about my brother. They, if they even feel like I'm drifting off, they get on my, hey, come, come downstairs. Come here. You think it's that, bro? You think it's that, huh? Like, you think you just bigger than this shit. We tell you you ain't gonna do something, that's what it is, nigga. You ain't doing it, nigga. Oh, bro. Because we ain't trying to control you. So and it's vice versa. You. Same thing. It's vice versa. Well, definitely. I ain't gonna lie to you. So now that it's, you know, 10 years later, through the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Um, can you tell us, you know, on your birthday right now, brother, you know what I'm saying? And I like to use the word brother because the fans love when you say brother. You know that. For some reason, brother. Um, how long you been out? Six, seven months? Seven months. Right, seven months, right? What's the biggest difference in life now versus life what it was before you went in? Major responsibilities. Okay. Big difference. I ain't had no responsibility back then. Bills to pay. Nah. This shit, that right now. That, that. Major bills. Big bills, too. At <laughs> that, that should be like, there, yeah, yeah. Soon you look up, soon you check her out. You be like, man, I just paid this shit the other day. What the <laughs> f going on? Hey, <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's, that's a big difference. Major responsibilities. But I stand on that shit. I, I stand on business. Yeah. Boom. When I look at your um, the jewelry you got on on, on on your Supreme, you know what I mean? Melly Way, five one. Oh, you yeah. know. You know that. Um, tell us, tell us what 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 you got on around your neck. What it represents? Melly Way, big five one, fifty one hundred. Know what the fuck going on? R.P. Fast, Lamar, Big A. Zico, Screeze. Hey, you know we, you know, you know, you know the fans like to talk about, um, you know, a lot of different drill, his, um, historians or drill members, whatever. Um, but you know, when it come to Young Money, we talk about Melly a lot, but we hear Zico a lot. Yeah. We've never really talked about Zico. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to my knowledge, Zico was the one that was a good basketball player in high school. For sure. Okay. Um, and so, is it true that when Zico was killed, that's kind of like what sparked the whole beef with the, you know, like what was going on with childhood? So, if you know. Okay. You know. You know. So, Zico was a good basketball player. Like more, more than that, though. Okay. More than that. Talk more, to us about Zico. More than a good individual. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I don't think Kiro had like a real relationship with Zico. More double. But who Zico was, and I'm in a fiend right here, because I don't think he could truly speak on that. Man. Zico was like a big brother, everybody. He acknowledged everybody, but he was a player. He was a leader. And he was himself. You feel me? He was a ladies' man. He had swag. And he went no bitch, and motherfuckers hated him. But if you knew him, you're gonna love him. 
you gonna embrace him to the fullest. He literally was like, it was like our role model. Like, he literally played, he played like basketball on the street, hooping for bread, like, like that bag, like one of us put that bag on him. You know, like, you know how you go in the streets, you know what I'm saying? That can go sideways. Shit used to go sideways, like, one of us, he'll be hooping, and, and that shit'll be life or death. And he used to play his heart out, like, in the streets or organized basketball. You wow. feel me? But when Kiddo came to the hood, you feel me? He represented Zico without truly knowing him. And he wanted to know who he was. And he embraced it. You know that. And a lot of people, like, if you didn't know Zico, you wouldn't embrace Zico. And him and Pre, they did that. And we loved that. That they wanted to know who Zico was. Why we was, the way we was because of the death of Zico. Yeah, they knew him, but like, not like we It was his own level. Cause he, like, he got taken so early, like, you feel me? Compared to like the age difference, you feel me? <clears throat> but. Like, yeah, that's that's the most highest on Chief. That's why we is who we are. And when you speak on All people, when you speak on people like that, it's like that so 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 way back then. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't even like a war or nothing. It like wasn't that. even a war. No, none of that. That, that was like the set off of it. Right. Yeah. That was like the eye opener for us. Like mm, and Bumfucker still ain't get it then, truthfully. But like, yeah, yeah, we Zico world for real. Hell yeah, we stand on that shit. Hell yeah, for real. I wish bro had kids or some shit. You feel me? Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So we can show more. Just, I ain't gonna lie. If you've been around us, bro, most people gonna be like genuine and authentic. Like, and he was him. He was dude. You know, people truth. don't be themselves, bro, out here. Like, no, nah, he was don't. himself, though. That's like kind of like why a lot of us be ourselves because we watch bro be himself in, in different situations. You feel me? So it was like, he's a great know. role model. He, he wasn't no. Gang, super gang. Ain't no gang but he stood on what he wanted to understand. No, super though. tough. He ain't never gonna do nothing like. But want no pushover though. Right. Could fight, could defend himself. That's yeah. my brother for sure. Um, she was a lefty, got it like that. Had that monotype game, like you know. No, no. You feel him? So yeah, hell yeah, we Zico where That's what it is. You know that my brother. She's on late. Zico. RPZ. You know what the fuck going on? Man. To show that. So kiddo, bro. Now that you. Out a free man, right? We go put the ten years behind us. Uh, can you tell us what perhaps a five year plan would look like for O Five One Kiddo? A five year plan? Damn, I'm gonna be rich. I ain't gonna lie to you. What else? Though. Hey, that shit on. Damn. He probably don't want to speak too much. It's shit. It's shit. He don't bro. like telling us rude. his plans. He be going us, bro. He be trying to be secretive, and then when the shit more and fall, I don't let him know a little something. Man. God, then when God. it fall and play, they be like, "Damn, you really you did that?" I am like, "Yeah." We try to keep that shit low until it kind we know, of we know, we know you gonna be rich. You the truth, bro. He gonna be. Well, I ask you this much, right? I ask you this, right? When you were down, you know, for the decade plus that you were down. What, what 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 was the plan, you know, that you had for when you got out, you go hit the ground running, doing what? Like, you know, did, did you have a plan before you got out? Um, bro, honestly, yeah, rap. Before Remy died, I was telling him on the phone, like, I'm going to rap when I come home. I'm like, that's, he told me, man, that's ain't going to rap, man. You just playing. You trying to be in the street. You trying to do that. You trying to do that. I'm like, no, bro, I'm going to rap for real, bro. His death affected me, though. Like, bad, bad. So when I got out in these streets, it's like the thought. Like I told you, when I got out of jail, it was raining when I got out of jail. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, yeah, you a gift. That's God, you watching over you. Oh, the dead watching over me, though. They making sure I'm straight. They making sure I'm safe. You feel what I'm saying? Besides my brother that's here for me right now. But that's what I want to do. I'm like, I'm a rap. I got out of jail. I start rapping. Uh, and I ain't dropped when I got out of jail, like right away. It was two months later. And I went viral. Over viral. Over viral. Over viral. Super trendy. Bro, over viral. So let me ask you this, brother. Um, <laughs> if rap don't work, do you have a plan B? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
But I can't expose it though. I gotta keep that to myself. But hell yeah, yeah, I got a plan B. Mm-hmm. That's good. Maybe I'm gonna give me a job. Fuck. <laughs> Amazon <laughs> always hire. <laughs> they gonna they go have you. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna give me a job. They gonna be like, man, hey, yo, no, 4051 kid over here working in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm black old full of gray, you know what the fuck going on? We getting that melee, we getting that gang. We finna turn this bitch up. Matter of fact, hey, look, go get the balloons, go get the cakes. We finna have a party in this bitch, I'm full of gray. First job, man. I ain't never had no job, never. You ain't good, buddy. <laughs> you ain't never had a job, gang? Never, boy. I ain't never worked a job. Word. And I be telling motherfuckers that, you ain't never worked right. a job. You gotta think about it. I went to jail when I was 17 years mm-hmm, old. Mm-hmm. I get it. Did 10 sure. years and five months. For sure. Got out. Right. I'm rapping. I get it. I don't need no job. Rap money good. Yeah. Interview yeah, money good. Real for real. I'm just great. Yeah. I'm bro. Man, bro. Yeah. It's everybody got a story, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yours is the more interesting, of course, you know. You know it. Uh what 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 are your thoughts on the fan reaction you've gathered since you came home? No, I love my fans. I love my haters too. If you don't got no haters, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing shit. So I love my fans. I love my haters. Continue hating on me. Oh, bro. Yeah. Get me up there. The more you hate, the more I'm going to be up there. The more you say my name, the bigger I become. So I just let that shit be, you know? Yeah. Oh, bro. You know how we coming, brother. Yeah, for sure that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what I want to ask you though, for real, uh, because you are, you know, a prominent figure amongst the Chicago drill scene right now, right? Uh, you just dropped a tape recently. Uh, tell us your favorite track on the tape. Slide back. Slide back. Oh, Featuring Zadawa. You know that. What what makes that your favorite? That song oh, no, go crazy. Cap- that's 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 the intro. That's the first track on the tape. First track. Getting that melody. You know that. Track number one, slide back, featuring exotic walk. You know it. No mm-hmm. cap. Yeah. I don't do no cap in my music anyway. Tell us about the, tell us about this tape though. Getting getting that melody. I see it got eight tracks. You know what I'm saying? Some short, simple, straight to the point. Um, Tell us how long you came up with it, you know, what made you choose the title, stuff like that. The whole world know I'm getting that melody. That's one. Eight tracks, I feel like that's good for my first take. Like, I didn't have to overly do it. Put 12, 15, 20, only been out seven months. Like I said, I'm doing better than any nigga who been out here two years, three, four, five years I've been rapping. Ain't nobody get where I'm at right now. You get what I'm saying? I'm not being judgmental, but I'm just speaking facts. Like, it ain't took me long. Like I said, I got out of jail, 60 days on house arrest, got off house arrest, shot my first video, dropped my first song, 051 Kiddo, Don't Play With Us, Went viral. But you gotta let them know though, like what inspired the tape without dropping no name, like your big bro. You don't gotta say what inspired you to drop your tape though. Yeah, that's really inspired. You ain't inspired and wait. Get somebody and you you got some shit brewing. You don't gotta say too much, but you know what I'm saying. I don't gotta say it though. But yeah. (laughs) I got some real shit going. Some real motion, you hear me? Yeah, I'm going to just keep that to myself. Yeah, you keep saying that, but I'm saying you got to elaborate to people sometimes, though. It ain't black like that. Yeah, you do, though. You got, you got a motherfucker in your corner. You ain't got to say the name, boy. You got somebody in your corner. I mean, shit, express yeah. yourself. It's your birthday, gang. You feel me? Don't be shy. Right, Let the folks know what the fuck going say on. I'm going to just say this, though, right? It is your birthday, why? I got somebody who fuck with me genuinely. You get what I'm saying? Right. On bro. He ain't no regular person. Either. He ain't no regular person either. He ain't no basic ass nigga. He a mold. 
He that. Right. That, that, that. You get what I'm saying? He f with me hard. He love me too. You get what I'm saying? Right. I wasn't finna drop this tape. I wasn't. But when I talked to him, he like, no. Nah, you need eight songs on there. So drop that tape. Yeah. I ain't trying to hear nothing, you hear me? Yeah. Oh, bro. Some shit just ain't for the streets yet. But when they find out, though, mm -hmm. gonna fuck everybody head up. They ain't even gonna know what hit them. They gonna be like, what? That's how he bumming, that's how he coming. You know what the fuck going on? What's real can never be fake. I ain't one of those. I'm that. Bitch, I'm really him. On gang. Hey, but now, what I wanna, uh, the message for the youth that I want you to leave today is for the young niggas that's outside running the streets and they damn near just as crazy as kiddo was 10, 11 years ago. And they don't know if they f around, they go f around and find out that they can be locked up for 10, 11 years. You know what I'm saying? Spend 10, 11 years in the box celebrating their birthday. Like you said, same meal, same shit. You feel me? Ain't no bottles, ain't no homies, ain't no bitches. It's the same shit, you know? Can you leave a message to them tonight? Most definitely. You go to jail, you get 10, you get 20, you get 50, it's gonna be the same shit every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, bro, you're gonna suffer in that motherfucker. You're gonna feel like you dead in that motherfucker. You might want to commit suicide. Oh, bro. Fuck, might. That's something you, 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 you probably do. Because you don't want to keep on going through that experience. You might just give up on life. On top of that, if you out here having your way, besides thinking about slime and doing all that dumb shit, if you go to jail for that shit and you get time for that shit, all these hoes you was out here f***ing, yeah, they probably gonna be there in the beginning. Tell you they love you, tell you they miss you. They gonna get pregnant on you. They gonna leave you. You gonna be vulnerable. Investing all your time and energy into a motherfucker or multiple motherfuckers. They gonna bring your ass right down. Now you gonna be sending that motherfucker jail cell. Hern. Can't eat, can't sleep. You might as well take your chances out here, homie. Doing the right shit. Get a job. The main thing is going to school, though. To try to be something more than what you are today. You know what I'm saying? If I knew that back then, like going to school and being something bigger than what, I'm, what I am today, I would've went my ass to school plenty of times. School, go to school, I ain't listen. Now look what I'm doing, rapping. But this is what I signed up for. But for the youth, they don't gotta do that because most youth on, it, youth on this earth Oh, bro, they got good family, good mother, good father. They see motherfuckers on the internet or seeing all these videos with guns, so they want to be just like motherfuckers that's in these videos or see, be just like motherfuckers that's in these pictures and shit with pipes and shit. You get what I'm saying? You don't got to be that way, gang. On oh, bro, f that shit. And like I said, don't never be a sin off. Don't never let nobody send you off. Never. Show that, man. I appreciate that message, man. For sure, that that shit, that shit just touched my soul, man. You know what the fuck going on, brother? O five one kiddo, O five one young money in the building. I love when y'all come through, man. You know that. Shit. Really? I do. You know that, boo. Don't play with me, bro. Man, yeah, you know that. Dude got your DJ. You dude got your DJ hat on correctly today. That's what I'm saying. Play, play the slab back, man. If you can't play that correctly, I never could. Hold on, 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 We got to wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? We got to wrap it up the right way. You know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck going on. DJ UTV. Shout out to Royalty Productions. For sure. 
Happy birthday, 051 kiddo. You know what I'm saying? You say happy birthday. Huh? Happy what? Happy, happy Y Day. 051 kiddo. First Y Day out in 10, 11 years. And shout out my nigga Woo. Exotic Walk, what you want, gang? Driller, what you want, gang? Yeah. <laughs> Sad. You miss him anyway. Ain't no killing one. We be killing two. We little man. Free white mic. Pussy boy. Got your homie killed. For this fall for my brother. We gon' fuck them up. I got all these motherfucking guns. Mark Block. Kid already in them tricks. DJ, you go crazy.